Hey everyone, welcome to Brad's Gadgets. Today I'm here in St. Thomas, Ontario to check out the St. Thomas Elevated Park, which is essentially a bridge that they've reconditioned into a park. Let's go check it out. <music> The park is located south of London, Ontario, west of Niagara Falls, and east of Detroit at Windsor. This bridge measures 30 feet wide by 850 feet long. It stands about 95 feet over the Kettle Creek Valley. Now, I visited this bridge here in the fall, so it's not quite as beautiful as what it would look like in the summer. It's also still a work in progress. This bridge is built with charitable donations and uh, volunteer work. There's little plaques along the way that shows the name of the person and how they contributed. This bridge was originally built in 1872 when it was made out of frame timber. The bridge got a major facelift in 1929. It was completed in January 1930. Various works of art are scattered along the bridge, as well as 24 hour surveillance. They have cameras all over the place on this bridge. While I've been really busy advertising it, I'd make the drive out to St. Thomas to check it out. It wasn't quite as nice as what they made it seem, but still, this is Canada's only elevated park. Now it used to be a railway bridge, but now that the double tracks are gone, a park has been put in its place. There's flower beds, trees, benches, public art, and a trail for walking. There's also free parking along the street. Now it's still a work in progress, so we're going to still see a lot of upgrades to this bridge. But as it sits in October of 2022, this is what it looks like.
The park is wheelchair accessible and you're allowed to bring your dogs. There's no fee to access the park. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. And as usual, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, well, we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching, everybody.